Hey guys, Prinji here and in this video we're going to talk about uh, how to use effectively empty states uh, as a UI UX designer. Now, empty states can be really, really useful in order to notify a user that something didn't work uh, or that something is still pending. And uh, it's usually not one of those uh, really like screens that you're really looking forward to, but uh, nonetheless, they're part of the UX workflow. And uh, we're going to go through this uh, empty states UI kit uh, from uh, um, Virgil Pana, which uh, you can see here on a UI8. I'm going to leave the link in the description. It's just a really cool illustration pack. Uh, and we're just going to, you know, talk through what are empty states and uh, what are the essentials really to create one in an efficient way. And uh, as you can see, we have like all these different illustrations and uh, these would be illustrations which uh, you can potentially add to empty states. Now, not every empty state is going to require an illustration and uh, the basics of uh, successful empty states, uh, I think, uh, is that they should uh, both notify the user about what happened. So maybe a search didn't work out. So you have to notify them maybe in text format that, uh, hey, the, the query which you just searched for isn't in our database. And then the second thing is you would need to suggest a solution. And this can be either a text, so maybe like a, a hyperlink or some sort, or maybe uh, an instruction such as try a different search, or maybe a call to action, which can be a button, for example, that's going to redirect to another page where they can solve the problem. So essentially it's very simple you have to notify them about what uh, the problem was uh, and then offer them a solution. And that would pretty much do it for empty states. And uh, things like, you know, illustrations or creating like uh, very meticulous pages uh, or, you know, having maybe like a background or gradients and all those uh, iconography elements. Uh, those uh, are essentially accessories in order to further reinforce uh, these two concepts because from a technical perspective, you would only need text in order to notify them about what happened and then to offer a solution. But uh, illustrations and visual elements uh, such as icons can help uh, to reinforce uh, this uh, concept uh, which uh, you're communicating. So it's essentially in order to reinforce the visuals uh, around uh, the communication point. And just before we end the video, I want to point uh, to this resource right here, which is this website, Empty States. And uh, basically you're going to find a lot of different empty state screens for inspiration. And uh, as you can see, there's like different type of empty states and different type of screens, but the main concept is going to remain the same. So there's going to be a notification of what uh, this empty state entails, and then a call to action to the solution of uh, that uh, empty state. So basically <laughs> making it uh, not uh, empty anymore. And uh, you're going to find a lot of different inspirations here on this website, specifically of empty states for both desktop and also mobile, as you can see over here. And uh, there's just a lot of different uh, ways that you can tackle empty states, as you can see, but the basic structure is going to be pretty much uh, similar throughout uh, the different cases. So hopefully this uh, quick video was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or even if you're looking forward to learn more about UI UX design, I have over 400 videos on my YouTube channel. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in that, uh, where I'm basically sharing my years, my over nine years of experience working as a UI UX designer. So feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the next video.